Um, I brought a lot of different pieces that I normally would because we obviously lost the purples and I haven't been able to throw the black hammers a lot that we just announced today and we're going to be able to use that the new urethane rule hardness. Um, so I brought a lot of different short pins and a little bit higher ASIM balls that I think are going to kind of roll like urethane if I can't get the urethane to roll. But I'm really looking for control of the ball motion. I mean, I've thrown a couple with the low flare scorpion that's really jumped off the lane and only on short, I don't really want to see that because once you get to start getting that hockey stick motion, you tend to split a lot more. So that's the Black Hammer, the new urethane ball that we have. Uh, that was just a, a mediocre shot by me, but that's the kind of ball motion I'm looking for. It's something smooth and predictable, whether I can get that out of that, my 16 pound ones, or, or some reactive balls. The Katana that, the Kana, Katana Assault, I believe, that I'm throwing or, is uh, a two inch pin that kind of rolls like that. That'll just give me a little bit more continuation. So if I threw that same shot with that ball, I'd probably strike. All right, well, let's take a look at your next shot. shot don't watch that that was bad timing bad footwork don't do that at home okay but you're learning off every shot yeah so that's the key right now because you're not just looking for the one magic ball that's no i'm looking for what i'm going to probably throw game seven yeah. or game six i mean what game am i going to have to finish the block with as well okay so it's so it's, it's a little easier to get the lead on the press yeah you're just looking for the lead yeah, I'm trying to figure out what ball I think I, I'm going to have the most control with and so forth for later on that if I have a good look and then I get to a pair that it's just been chewed up that I can go to I know I can shoot 220, 230 with. Okay, how, how long do you get to practice on this? Uh, probably about an hour, hour and 20 minutes. Okay, so uh, we'll watch a couple more shots here, we'll get opinion and then we'll see what happens with that game six, game yep. seven look once we get it a little bit farther. Absolutely. So, okay. So far, it's been good. Right. I'm ready to get started up again. Going to? Uh, it was pretty much just lane shine. Okay. I drilled it over the week and threw some shots with it, but I'm hitting with a fresh thousand. 
make it start up a little bit sooner. Now, will it make the ball cover more boards overall, or is it just going to give it a different shape? I'm hoping it just gives it a different shape, a little bit more, a little bit earlier read. It's just getting a hair too far down the lane. That's better. Yeah, it's definitely the earlier read. So now I can move back a little bit left and shape the ball a little bit more. motion that it's given me early and and so forth. All right, well, let's, well, let's just get a bunch of practice and you mentioned how what you're looking for early now is game six and seven. We'll join you back here a little bit on that one. Sounds good. Thanks, Thanks for the time, buddy. shots uh playing pretty close to the gutter it's something i love to do but um like i said just go out there and execute shots and um just try to stay in the transition and um make sure that i may stay more aware of the people around me okay uh now obviously are you throwing like right now what you want the first piece of your band you know with the first ball out of your band to be tomorrow with all my starts or absolutely uh got a couple of them uh have them with quite a bit of surface on it. I also have the new blue hammer as well, threw that a little bit in practice. So I'm just gonna go out there and see what I need to see on the lanes and uh, execute shots. Okay, let's uh, watch you throw a couple more. See a lot of guys uh, on both sides of the lanes uh, throwing a mixture of really strong cover socks. Uh, I've noticed a lot of guys trying different shapes. Uh, obviously with how the lanes transition, you wanna go in there trying different things. So then that way you're not stuck with one thing. Pretty good. <laughs> you made that one look pretty easy. So, gotta ask because people are always wondering what's coming back. They know you were uh, had an injury last year, a leg injury. Uh, how's the wheel? How's everything going? It's good. Um, I've just been kind of going through the cycle. Uh, been trying to stay a lot more healthy. I uh, had a leg issue, um, had an inju injury in my thigh. Uh, I know it's kind of held me back from a couple of things, me personally as well, but uh, I think this is uh, a new start to me. Uh, just trying to stay more confident. Uh, I'm trying to make it a new me this year. Uh, trying to be more aggressive while I'm out there.
there's a lot coming back. And uh, I noticed too that when uh, Austin Bowles is up, he's right-handed, but you were really watching his ball motion. Is there stuff you can learn from the right-handers even though you're, you're throwing on the left side? Yeah, um, I kind of use it to study a little bit more about, not even just for myself, but for everybody else. Um, uh, Austin and I are pretty close friends, so I think uh, just kind of seeing how the lanes transition even on the right, I kind of use that to study. Obviously, I'm on the other side of the lane, so it's not for my game, but obviously I can go out there and kind of give that information to a couple close friends, too. You're good, bud. That's uh, particularly not the shot that, <laughs> unless people want to see a cool washout make, but. That's people want to see, right? Yeah, well, something tells me those are going to be pretty easy to leave this week uh, on this way wet pattern. Catch it right at the bottom. Yeah, it's definitely a pattern that uh, you don't want to miss at the bottom. Uh, 38 feet, you're going to see a lot of people playing towards the gutter to start. Hopefully, a lot of people are probably going to, at least on the right side of the lane, they're going to open up. Lefties are going to try to stay as close as they can to the gutter, right around that first arrow range. And uh, you'll probably see me not trying to move too much of a zone normally when I have to kind of change zones after playing it. That's where I get a little scatter break. bears around during the practice session as well. I know, we, I know we caught you on your first bear here, but it's got to be a big difference. From 48 lanes in a house, it's got to be a lot different from one side to the other. Yeah, I'm going to move around a little bit. I'm just kind of trying to get a feel. Uh, first time back in North Rock since last year, so get a feel for the center, and then I'm going to go switch around and uh, try to give different looks as well. Yeah, I have a handful, of, like, I mean, literally quite literally four of them, but uh, been trying to test every single one. I've noticed a big difference in some of them, but uh, just trying to test every kind of zone I can with them and try to adjust to a surface if I need to. Right. And, uh, are you going to be practicing your teammates at all? I mean, it's, it's the first night of PBA League tonight, so uh, you're going to get together with the rest of your teammates and uh, see what you guys are kind of talking over. Absolutely, I'm gonna be uh, over there hanging out with uh, Tommy and uh, Sean and Frank and Jake and all of them to kind of get ready for tonight as well. All right, so let's watch you throw one more here. Let's see if we can Miss, not but quite a strike, but uh, it gives me, gives me kind of a idea, though. So, yeah. so uh, how long do you think you're gonna roll the rock for uh, during the practice session? They gave you two hours, but you gonna use the whole thing? Um, I'm gonna use the majority of it. I, in the past, I've kind of slouched on trying to practice as much as I can, but now uh, I'm gonna try to give myself more options, so in that way, I'm not stuck doing one thing for the whole tournament. Oh, 
out of the thing, folks. All right, well, you get to figure out that transition. You got to get ready for uh, 24 games of qualifying between tomorrow and the next day. So. Absolutely. Looking forward to it, though. Yeah. Good luck to you. Good luck in the league tonight. First league session of the year as well. Thank you, Phil. Thanks, so, so we're about an hour into the practice session. We're back with Kevin McCune. And Kevin, I saw you talking to your ball rep, uh, Jason Wolshire, a little while ago. And you said about this time is when you're probably getting game six or seven. Yeah. Uh, that shot looked really good. What was the ball in your hand and what was the reasoning behind it? Uh, that's an innovator sour with a like a three inch pin on it. Something that's going to be really big and really slow that will just let me be softer to it, but it's not going to overreact because I'll show the pin is for me. So you see, for, for big and slow, for people that are like new to learning about the bowling balls yeah. and stuff, uh, a little more like what big and slow really means to like the, the average so, ball. So so like an if I was to tell an average person, are you, are you in a big and slow ball? Yeah. It's something that's a little bit bigger core, kind of like the ASIM cores, with a little bit bigger cover. That's going to go more forward down the lane than flipping. Oh. I don't want the ball to really flip down lane. I want it to be nice and smooth. Yeah. So that way when I miss left and right, it's not an, over, an overreaction. All right, let's uh, take another look at that. Why don't you throw that one again? Right yeah. Right Has there been anything in this hour of practice that's really surprised you with how this Wayne Webb pattern is uh, transition going across the house? We caught you on the high end before, now we're down here at 9 and 10. Um, Are any surprises? Not really because it's practice day. The big test is going to be tomorrow when we're shooting spares and we're going across the alley with the urethane and plastic balls and everything else. So, I mean, today it's kind of just transitioning like a normal practice day. There's a lot of us who still first shots. Okay, if that ball goes away, the one you're using now, uh, what, what might, might, be, might be next in succession? Uh, probably my uh, archetype. Probably my three-inch pin archetype that's a little bit even more forward that I can move back right with. Okay. So let's watch one more shot. And, uh, you ready for the LAX, they um, got you. You gonna practice uh, any with your with your? Uh, uh, we're LAX gonna be meeting team. here in a couple minutes. Okay. So hopefully everybody has a decent look going into the night, and hopefully we can put some big games together. I'll take it.